Hey, what is going on, everybody? My Twitter, Instagram, email, everything has been blowing up with this news that Tesla is finally settling its lawsuit with Michigan and may be able to sell vehicles in the state, may be able to open service centers. Uh, it's still a little cloudy, uh, but I wanted to talk about that with you today. And first, I wanted to start off with a quick thank you to two of my newest patrons, Kirk and Nancy. So most of this information comes from Bloomberg, who broke this story today. Tesla has reached a settlement with the state of Michigan over its federal lawsuit challenging a state ban on direct-to-consumer sales, according to my favorite source, people familiar with the matter. It has been speculated that this news is thanks to this tweet I made a few weeks ago, putting some pressure on the Pure Michigan Twitter. So as many of you may know, I went to Chicago to pick up my Tesla Model 3 back in February 2019. This is because it is illegal for Tesla to sell their cars in Michigan. Now, whenever I reference this in a video, usually saying something along the lines of, it's illegal to buy Teslas in Michigan, I get a bunch of comments saying like, what? It's illegal to buy Teslas in Michigan? And of course, that's a little dramatic. Um, you can buy Teslas Tesla's in Michigan. I, of course, bought my car while I was here on my phone, which is awesome. Uh, but it is illegal for Tesla to sell you a car in Michigan in a store. So we do have one store uh, local to me. I went there with my wife Stephanie a few years ago to test drive a Model S that I could never afford. And I let the employees know that, saying, uh, I can't afford this, but I'd love to test drive it. And they were more than excited to go for the test drive and show us the car. This store that Tesla put in the mall was actually in the back of a Nordstrom's, a clothing store. You had to walk all the way back. I don't have any pictures. Um, I do have a picture of the cars parked uh, in the mall's parking. But you have to walk all the way back uh, through all these clothes racks and stuff. And in the back corner was this little Tesla store. Now they do have their own store though right next to the Apple store front and center. Uh, they get a lot of traffic now. So walking out of that test drive I had convinced my wife this was a car we wanted to buy um, and luckily the Model 3 was coming out. So one potential problem for us was not being allowed to buy the car in Michigan, uh, which isn't that big of a deal. It's fun to road trip anyway, so we didn't mind going to get it. But the other problem that's also related to this is Tesla is also not allowed to have service centers in Michigan. So if I ever wanted service on my car, I'd have to go all the way to Columbus, Ohio, which is over three and a half hours away. Luckily, since I've gotten my car, Tesla has built a service center right on the border of Michigan in Toledo. It is on Telegraph Road and it is literally seconds from the border. Well, now all of this may be changing for the better. So the reason Tesla isn't allowed to sell their cars in Michigan is because of an old automaker law that says that uh, automakers have to sell through a dealer. And if you didn't know, if you're buying a Ford or GM car, you're not buying it from Ford or GM, you're buying it from a dealership and the dealership bought it from Ford or GM. And from my understanding, this was mostly for consumer protection, uh, and it was a good thing back in the day, but these days it's not all that necessary. And just getting this information from Wikipedia, the law was worded in a way saying that motor vehicle manufacturers cannot directly sell motor vehicles to retail customers other than through its franchise dealers. Well, back in 2014, they removed the word its because uh, they were thinking that Tesla could kind of use that as a loophole saying, well, we don't have franchise dealers, so there's no its to have. So they removed the word it's which just means that now auto manufacturers have to sell through franchise dealers and tesla has been stuck in a lawsuit with the government of michigan ever since but some new leaked news is saying that a settlement has been reached and it's kind of still a little confusing it seems like tesla will be able to deliver vehicles into michigan um, but from my understanding they could already do that uh, i've heard of plenty of people getting their cars delivered directly to them after buying online perhaps now there will be more showrooms if you go to that showroom in somerset mall you can take test drives they can tell you all about the car uh, but they can't talk about the price at all if you ask questions about the price they'll just tell you to look online they're not allowed to answer them but an even bigger deal in my opinion is it sounds like tesla will be able to open service centers in michigan which is awesome but the interesting thing about the tesla service centers is it doesn't seem like tesla is going to be able to run themselves it seems like they're going to have to have some third party or something. Not everything is clear yet, and we should expect more information to come out in the next few days. I actually haven't really needed one myself. I've had my car almost a year now, and I did get mobile service one time when I first got the car for a stuck door handle, um, and that was it. I've never needed any other service, so so far it hasn't impacted me. I am going down to Toledo to get my Hardware 3 upgrade. I'm so excited for that, but Toledo is less than an hour and a half from me, so honestly don't mind all that much, uh, especially, again, since I haven't had to do it very much, and this is like a fun 
fun thing to do. I, I want to do this upgrade. So I'm super excited for this. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. It is kind of ridiculous that China welcomed Tesla before Michigan did. And, you know, I get it with the big three and everything. But Tesla's an American company. They make most of their cars in America. Of course, they get some parts from around the world. Uh, but the batteries are here and the cars are assembled here. Tesla employs a lot of people in California and other states. And, you know, you got to let the consumer decide. If you want GM and whoever to sell more cars, then they should just make more desirable cars. Please don't kill me, friends and family that are watching this. I'm not trying to talk crap about GM and everything. I try not to be a fanboy of, of things. I do get excited about certain topics, uh, but I just buy whatever's best. And at this point, Tesla's the best. That's why I bought it. Do it the right way by making a desirable product that I want to buy. You know, if GM comes out with Bolt version two, you know, that looks cooler, goes a little farther. The range actually isn't that bad, um, has a better charging network, some self-driving capabilities, software updates, stuff like that. And it's a comparable or better price. I'd be all over it. I don't have to buy a Tesla. It's just uh, what's the best option for me. So if you're from Michigan, I hope you're excited. I'm excited. There are actually a lot of states that ban Tesla sales and Tesla service centers. So hopefully this will kind of set an example for those other states to let this you know, come to those states and let people buy the cars they want and service the cars they want. So I look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see me in the next video. Mm -hmm.